Hello everyone, in this video I'm reviewing the 4K release of Godzilla Kong The New Empire. We'll walk through the specs, unwrap it, and take a look at the case, then I'll offer my thoughts about the movie, video, and audio. Godzilla Kong The New Empire, released in 2024 by Legendary Entertainment, is rated PG-13, runtime is 1 hour and 55 minutes, aspect ratio is 2.39 by 1, that means black bars on the top and bottom of the screen for those with a 16 by 9 screen. Audio is available in English, French, and Spanish. One of the two English tracks does include Dolby Atmos. There are English, French, and Spanish subtitles, and Dolby Vision is available. Only a 4K disc and digital code is in this release. My usual FYI, I'm in my home theater for this review as I am for all of these movie reviews. Check out the description section for a full list of the gear in my home theater and check out some of my other links for product reviews, home theater takes, and other movie reviews. A like would be much appreciated. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I regularly post videos related to all things home theater. Godzilla Kong The New Empire is the latest installment in the MonsterVerse universe. I won't say anything especially spoilery, but if you want to go into the movie completely fresh, check out the chapter markers below to skip ahead. In this one, Godzilla and Kong team up to take on another big bad monster who has a gang of other bad monsters. Godzilla and Kong still quite aren't the best of friends. In fact, we get another Kong vs. Godzilla brawl in this one, but with some help from a friend, they soon realize they need to work together. Kong is definitely the star of this movie. Godzilla pops in and out of some early scenes, then gets most of his screen time closer to the end. I like this movie a lot. However, it's every bit a guilty pleasure movie. I like it for its charm. I like it for the simple fact that it has Kong and Godzilla. And for better or worse, this movie is not exactly a turn your brain off kind of movie. There's definitely a deeper, more complex story, probably deeper and more serious story wise than it should have been. There's also quite a bit of exposition. I would have preferred a better, maybe more subtle way to inform the audience through the movie and not have one of the main characters explicitly explain the scene, the history or what Godzilla or Kong is thinking or doing. I did like that this movie is easy to rewatch in the short time that I've had it. I've seen it three times. It wasn't a chore to get through. I stayed engaged and entertained for every watch and I look forward to seeing it again. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of history. I appreciate this Kong Godzilla monster verse. Story wise, it's not perfect, but it's entertaining. It's an adventure. There's some drama and heart in this. And we get two awesome characters in Godzilla and Kong on screen together, whether it's a fight or a team up, I'm in. Again, it's not perfect, but for being rewatchable and just entertaining, I give the movie a 3.25. If you've seen any of the other movies in this franchise, you know these movies deliver on both audio and video. Godzilla, Kong, A New Empire is no different. Plenty of detail, beautifully rich color, lots of depth, quite a bit of CGI. It mostly worked. Godzilla and Kong were good. Some other CGI characters and environments, not as realistic. There's some grain. It's not super clean, digital, sharp but it is a very pleasant picture throughout. Deep blacks, bright highlights pop, especially the neon color highlights of Hollow Earth and Godzilla himself. They are brilliant and bright and pop off the screen. I give video a 4.5. This is a Godzilla Kong movie and audio is on par with other movies in this franchise. Reference, this is a theater worthy movie in every way. It's one of those movies that to fully appreciate it for all it has to offer, you'll definitely want at least a decent audio system of some sort and a capable subwoofer, good separation between speakers, overheads were active, dialogue came through just fine, and there is a ton of volume throughout, tons of nice, deep, powerful bass, demo worthy stuff. Ultimately, I want to feel completely immersed. I want a full, clear, audible soundscape, and this movie has it. I give audio a five. If you're already into this franchise, or if you just want a demo-worthy movie to flex the muscles of your home theater, definitely pick up Godzilla Kong, The New Empire. I enjoy this entire franchise. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a ride, and it's entertaining. What do you think about Godzilla Kong, The New Empire? Leave your comments in the comment section below, and please like and subscribe.